Hello everyone, this is Colleen Lemma, Angelic Astrologer and Spiritual Consultant on AngelMessenger.net here to do your weekly angel card reading for Monday, September 16th through Sunday, September 22nd, 2013. And you see that I have cards already set up, which usually I shuffle them and pull them. But I did this video first time around and YouTube decided it was too long and, and wouldn't let me post it. So I'm going to do it again with the cards that I actually did pull. So they're already sitting here for us. And you see there's an extra card back here um, by the unicorn. That was a jumper card that jumped out of the deck as I was pre-shuffling and meditating on the energies we needed for this week. Now, we have extra cards here for your extra message. And the stones to choose from for that are going to be infinite. Infinite is a beautiful green stone. Okay, we have volcanic glass. Volcanic glass. And we have Chrysocolla, Chrysocolla being turquoise blue, green, it's got some brown inclusions in it. So those are your three choices for your extra message card, which are ours sitting here already. So it's Infinite, Volcanic Glass, or Chrysocolla. So let's see what the first card for this week is. We have the Seven of Water. Okay, here it goes. The Seven of Water says, a complex decision the need to do research and stop procrastinating. So we're going to set that back down here. The seven um, of water, in, in the regular tarot, water is about our emotions, our feelings. It's, it's the cups element. And the number seven, numerologically speaking, is a very spiritual number. And it, it talks about going within and um, you know, finding that spark of light within yourself and to connect with that spark of light to be able to, you know, follow the spiritual guidance that you feel. And of course, because we have water here, it is about our feelings. So with the seven of water, you want to really connect with deep down your feeling and emotional nature, but not on an ego level. You know, this is again, that seven is about spiritualness. It's about your spiritual essence, your higher soul self. So you want to connect with your feelings and emotions on a very deep spiritual level. And, you know, with the seven of water, there's many choices. You see there's many cups and they have different, uh, different colored lights on the cups. And that's showing how many different choices that you might have to make, which can lead to some confusion. You know, sometimes the seven of water means that you feel really confused about which choice to make. But again, when you connect with that deep soul essence, the higher feeling nature, that's going to assist you in using discernment to figure out which one of these choices, which one of these opportunities, which one of these avenues is the correct choice for you. Let's get further information by looking at the second card for the week. Okay, the second card for the week is the seven of fire. Now we have another seven, another seven number here. And the fire element is about spiritualness. It's about, it's, it's actually the spiritual element. It's, it's about spirit, God, a universe, all that is. You know, this is that element uh, beyond us where we have to uh, listen to the guidance that our angels and guides um, and God is giving us. Now, the message at the bottom of this card, I should read, it says, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, and choose your battles wisely. Now, what I feel from this card is that, you know, with these different uh, opportunities, with these different avenues that, that you could make a choice on, and, and when you do make a choice based on that, that deeper feeling nature, you might have to, um, you might feel like that you're defending yourself to other people around you. Um, you know, which I would say, you know, to just, again, use that discernment element of that number seven and discern who you want to be around, discern who you want to tell things to, and um, you keep, you know, keep yourself around people of a higher vibration. Keep your, yourself around people that are going to support you. But there may be a, a time period during this week where you do feel like you have to um, defend the particular decision or um, avenue that you choose to 
to uh, go down this week. So just be aware of that. But let's see what the last card is for the week. Oh, that's wonderful. The last card is the Empress card. And the Empress is Major Arcana. And this is Archangel Gabriel. And Archangel Gabriel says, Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, and nurture yourself and others. So that is a wonderful card to end our weekly card reading. The Empress is about creative self-expression. Often in the traditional tarot, the Empress is a mother figure who is pregnant with life. And that pregnancy of the Empress is that creative self-expression. It's giving birth to new ideas, giving birth to new opportunities, giving birth to new avenues, giving birth to new energies in your life. So this week it looks like there's going to be um, maybe a little bit of confusion going on maybe in the first part of the week, um, you know, feeling emotionally maybe a little off balance. But when you go within, when you go within and, and touch the essence of your higher soul self and you really center and, um, and also ask for your guides and angels help with that, that uh, avenue or that energy of spirituality here that you're going to end up making a decision and a choice that leads to great expansion, great growth, prosperity, abundance, giving birth to your dreams, giving birth to the reality of the next step on your higher uh, destiny path. But we want to also take a look at what this jumper card was because that's going to be important as well as far as the message is concerned. And this is the Sun with Archangel Ariel. Again, this is a major arcana card and a wonderful card it is because it says happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success and have confidence in yourself. This is a beautiful, beautiful card to add to our message for the week because this is telling us that through what we are um, choosing, you know, and through what we're allowing to creatively expand in our lives, which is going to bring us this beautiful sense of uh, growth and um, abundance, that we're going to have wonderful, wonderful success. The sun is often about recognition, appreciation, success, honors, rewards. So this is telling me that this week is going to be uh, extremely um, wonderful and uplifting and, and successful in whatever it is that you choose as far as the next step on your path. Now let's see what your extra message was depending on the stone that you chose. For those of you that chose this stone of infinite, your message is Father Healing. Now Father Healing says your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. Okay? So what I'm getting from this card is that this is about our sense of personal power. This is about our personal power, owning our personal power, integrating our personal power, taking back our power, um, and knowing that you are a spiritually powerful being and that you can create whatever it is that you desire. So whether this is actually healing from father issues in this lifetime or just healing your own masculine, your divine masculine self, which is that, that leadership ability, that um, ability to take charge and to create and you know, manifest and make decisions and make things happen, this is the part of you that needs healing. So take back your personal power this week. If you chose Volcanic Glass, your message is Music for Manifesting. And this card says, to manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. Now, this is um, really such a true thing because, um, let's move that back a little. This card is really saying that you know, that vibration of beautiful, peaceful, calming music, that, that vibration of chanting or humming or singing or even dancing is something that really speeds up the manifestation process for us because it gives us joy in our heart. It gives us a sense of peace and connectedness to our spiritual center. And so this week you're going to want to utilize um, that energy to assist in manifesting this abundance, this growth, this prosperity, this success that we see for the week. Now, if your stone of choice was Chrysocolla, your message for this week is waves of prosperity. 
And this Waves of Prosperity card says, new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So that's a great card that goes very well uh, with this last card, the Empress here, as far as growth, expansion, opportunities. And having these, you know, new messages or new opportunities come into you this week or come to you this week. So, you know, I see, you know, waves of prosperity not only being financial rewards or financial money, but it can be blessings, gifts from the universe of, of many different types. So be open to all the types of prosperity that can definitely come to you. So I want to thank you for listening to this weekly reading. By the way, if I forgot to mention, I should, that these cards came from Doreen Virtue's decks, um, the Angel Tarot deck, and Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. I also want to say in regards to empowerment, um, as we spoke of Father Healing briefly over here, that this Wednesday, September 18th, if you... Um, Check me out as far as on angelmessenger.net. I am holding a free webinar entitled Soul Empowerment Through Change. And so you can sign up for this free webinar and listen to it. Uh, it will be replayed uh, at a later time for those of you that can't make the exact time of 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on that day. But check me out there. Check out all the other services offered. And we will see you next week for the next weekly reading. Until then, many angel blessings to you.